Hey YouTube, Smoky Mountain Piper here, and uh, we just got back from uh, from town. We had to go to uh, Lowe's and then uh, Walmart, and uh, we got a half-inch piece of plywood for uh, the rabbit enclosure. We're gonna be playing that uh, together, probably finishing up by another two or three days. Um, if you have bunnies or have any tips on rabbits, uh, put them down in the comment section because me and my fiance would love to to know your experiences with them. And uh, it was a little bit of a hassle, a little bit of a sketchy drive because it, it was uh, just starting to rain and the roads were getting uh, they were getting pretty pretty weird on me. I didn't I didn't like driving it with uh with the with the, the piece of board in there. I was getting kinda of uncomfortable with that, but no big deal. Um I do think though in the future I'm gonna build a small not small but a medium sized trailer for uh uh wood and things like that for the you know hardware store and things like that. Um but kind of a rainy day and I didn't want to be stuck inside because it is actually pretty nice out it's I think it's around 75 maybe 70 close to 80 it was pretty close to 80 this uh, when I got up today um, or by the time we left I should say and uh, so like it's, it's been a been a long day, not too bad of a day, but a long one. But I figured I would have a pipe with you guys and uh, show you um, the next batch. I think I'm going to try uh, Boswell's Pennsylvania Dutch Treat. This was sent in to me again by Mark from Rhode Island. Let's get into the smell. Really good smell. There's definitely some burly, there's some Virginia, or Cavendish, Black Cavendish, some burly, no, maybe Virginia. It smells great. Show you guys uh, my grandfather on my mother's side. This is his pipe. I don't think I could ever really find any markings on it, so I can't really tell you who made it. But it's an interesting pipe. Somewhat of a church warden. Real comfortable. A little weight to it, not bad. Definitely, it's still a clencher for me. Well, let's get into some Boswell, shall we? Cut my pipe up a little bit. See, it's funny. See, I knew that my grandparents on both sides. I knew they. I, I knew they had some affiliation with uh, tobacco. Now, my grandfather on both sides. My grandfather and my on my mom's side and my dad's side. Um. They don't. They use the pipes to finish off the cigar. They used to buy their cigars. Um, my grandfather on my mom's side used to smoke um, El Producto, and then my grandfather on my dad's side, I found a Garcia Vega, um, and it was one of those uh, like a gas station type one out of those cylinders, you know, and. Uh, I've tried those as soon as I found it, and uh, I went out and bought some. They're not bad. They're not a bad, cheap smoke. Um, they're a Corona size. They're not too bad. Rain's letting up some. It was pouring earlier. But.
It's not bad. Not bad at all. You taste the, the, the tobacco, the earthiness. You got that. Very subtle flavoring. If any. Not bad. There's no tongue burn. Nothing like that. Like I said, if you guys have or has knows anyone that has like a rabbit colony at their house, you know, let us know. You know, what do they like? Uh, our bunny prefers fruits over vegetables. Um, so, um, other than that, like, like I know we're not we're not going to use chicken wire. We're going to try to find rabbit wire for it. Some people do use chicken wire. Um, but like I said, if you have pictures, you want to send them my way. Um, my Gmail is chrisj1895 at gmail.com. Chris with a K, K-R-I-S. And uh, if you want to shoot me a picture or something like that, or just shoot me an email, you know, that'd be cool to hear from you. Um, but like I said, if you know any tips, secrets, or anything like that to it, you know, I, I would like to know it. Um, Kate and Matt, my friends, they live in Clyde now. Um, they just had uh, their first child, little Joy Allen. Um, I think they were together for five plus years before they... Married for five five plus years before they had a child, so so yeah, they finally got their their first child, their non fur baby, because they've had fur babies first, and then now they have their real baby, which I'm really I'm happy for them. Um, that's really nice. Uh, she was born in September, so she's a little over a month now, I think. Which is nice. He said it's, you know, a kid wakes you up in the world. You know what I mean? When you have one, you can't do all the stupid stuff you used to be able to do. Um. So. But yeah, I'm happy for him. I miss him. You know, I miss hanging out with him. I remember going over to their house. Uh. When my ex moved away, they invited me over for dinner. We shot their uh, Taurus uh, pistol, uh, Taurus G2, same gun that I bought, and uh, I fell in love with that gun. I love it. I want to get the G3 because it's a bigger version of it. It's a combat version of it, and the G2 I would use as a backup, but I really want to get... Um, a single action Colt 45, but those things are like a thousand dollars or more. So if I had to get a five hundred dollar gun, I'd probably be happy with that too. But I still would want a Colt uh, 45 later on, and then have like a nice little Derringer that shoots either the 410 shotgun shell or either nine millimeter or eh, I guess a 45 would be okay. I got a thirty thirty, which I like. I really, I love it. Thirty thirty. Um, 
I don't think I'm going to get a um, pistol caliber rifle. I don't think I'm ever going to get something like that. I think the only one I would probably get would be the um, the uh, mutant. Or no. No, the judge. Or no, not the judge. The, uh, the guard. The CMMG guard. And then there's the CMMG mutant. The mutant shoots the uh, six, six, uh, the AK-47 rounds. It shoots those, the SKS rounds, 762 times 39, and then the uh, the guard shoots a uh, nine millimeter with a uh, Glock 20, Glock 19 or Glock 20 or something like that um, magazines. So, but. looks a lot lighter in the camera than it does really it has a good smell to it but, but Boswell Pennsylvania Dutch treat I recommend it definitely something I would smoke in the morning um I'd smoke it in the morning I smoke it at evening I smoke it after supper time when pizza's on a bagel you get pizza anytime I haven't had those in a long long time that's cool I got pizza roll can't go wrong with pizza roll but uh like I said, I just want to say thanks again to everybody out there that watches. I really do. I'm trying to get as much video content out there as possible. Like I said, um, Matt uh, from Glory Boys Productions gave me, we traded, I made him a mask, a scarecrow mask, and he traded me this old phone right here that I'm using because the picture quality on this thing is amazing. And uh, hopefully I can get some, you know, videos you know, up and going, and then I could be able to, like, okay, every other two days, go by, I'll upload a video or something like that. So this is my fourth video uh, together on this phone. And, of course, I have my other phone, which I use the Wi-Fi for. So this phone's connected to my original phone, and I can always put video on my, on my, on my phone that I use for everyday life to oppose of this one that I just keep at home. I can make videos on that one on this one and just you know, make sure I have Wi-Fi and, you know, post videos. But yeah. Boswell, Pennsylvania, Dutch Street. Really good tobacco. There's not much bad that I can say about it. Um, except for there's not really a lot of flavor to it besides just the tobacco like there's no heavy topping on it which is fine I like English I like all tobaccos um, but there's no tongue bite which is something I like and I've been puffing on it for a good amount of time now no tongue bite um, burns clean um, it's not really gunking up the pipe um, it's just a good all-around tobacco to smoke morning, afternoon, or evening. Or if you're a retired person, a retired person that smokes pipes or cigars all day long, and one after the other, or a two pipe a day person or whatever, you know, it's good for that too. So don't be afraid to to put some in your pipe and you know light some of it up. You know, it's pretty good.
Yeah, it's getting a little bit darker on the screen. It's getting darker out here, though. Different on the screen, a little bit. But again, I just want to say thanks to all the subscribers and to all the people that I've met on on YouTube uh, that share the same common grounds as I do, smoking pipes, you know, bushcrafting and all that good stuff, you know, if, even if I don't meet anyone that does bushcrafting, um, if I just meet people that smoke pipes, that's cool too, that's fine with me. And uh, like I said, it really is, it's an honor for people to actually watch my videos. Like some of my videos are now like 150 views, 200 plus views, 1,000 plus views. Um, it's really, it's cool, you know. I, I'm, you know, not all of my content may be good, but it's, it gives me something to do. You know, I'm not really worried about like, oh, did that go viral or whatever, you know. That's not me, you know, like, oh, that's editing. I got to edit this video, make it better and better. Like, it's all live. Whatever you see here is all live. There is no scripts. There is no, oh, I got to say this or that. You know, if it's in the video, it's in the video. If not, if not, you know, it's just how it goes. Surprised we have leaves on a lot of the maples around here still. But then again, it really hasn't got all that cold here yet. I think we've had a couple of frosts, but not bad frosts. So. But we need the rain. Well, I'm not going to let this video go along too much more, but I just wanted to say Boswell, Pennsylvania, Dutch Street. Go get some. It's good.